Welcome back to the Betting Exchange. And let me tell you, we want our fans to have fun mm. getting in on the action, but let's make sure you're doing it responsibly. Visit haveagameplan.org and bet responsibly. All right, and having said that, it's time for us to lock in to my favorite game show, The Big Bet Theory giving the questions across the spectrum of sports and betting. And these two competitors will go at it for a chance to give you their New York Shore shot, their local team lock for the evening. They get the question right, they get points, they get the question wrong. Opponent has a chance to steal. Are you ready? I've been waiting on this one for a while. Okay, okay, you gotta bounce back. You know, you you, you are winless for 2022, so we gotta get you back on the winning ways, all right? So the first question, worth 150 points. Going to the NFL. Out of the teams remaining in the NFL playoff race, only one team did not win their division. The San Francisco 49ers. <laughs> Come on, I didn't no way. Even get to that complete one. it. Oh. And she I is knew. correct. Katie Box is on the board, 150 points. This, this game is fixed. She, she might be clairvoyant, man. I, mean, I, I don't know. Um, Alex, let me ask you. There was quite a few blowouts on Wild Card Weekend. Tell me which game this weekend has a potential for a blowout. Uh, I'm not sure if I see any blowouts, but one that has the potential to get ugly if uh, if things don't go right on the injury report this week is that Bucks Rams game. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got uh, Pro Bowl lineman Tristan Wirfs and Ryan Jensen. Uh, they got to overcome some injuries that they suffered against the Eagles for the Bucks. If they can't do that, then we saw what this Rams defensive line can do if you can't block them. And Tom Brady could be in a world of trouble if uh, if that's gonna happen. That is the Man. truth. Speaking yeah. of world of trouble, <laughs> Eric, get down 150 points and we're going to question two, just saying. We're going to the NHL, second question worth 200 points. The Caps, the Penguins, the Hurricanes, and Rangers are all within three points of the Metro Division lead. Which of these teams is currently favored to win the division? Eric. I'm going with the Hurricanes. Carolina Hurricanes, 200 points. You are correct, Let's sir. Go. Back on the board. I love to see it. All right, Alex, nearly halfway through the season, a lot can change over the next couple of months. Is it worth betting on one of the longer shots to win a division? I mean, maybe the Rangers, uh, if you want to take a, a long shot here, you know, they're they're top division right now with 54 points, four games left on the schedule against the Hurricanes. I mean, that's the team that is favored to win the division. So if you want to uh, knock off the King, you know, you got to take him out. Um, mm. So I'm looking at them and they have one of the easier remaining schedules uh, left in the division. So maybe the Rangers, if you're interested in taking a, a little slice of a long shot, long Ooh. shot. Okay, okay. I, I like a yeah, slice put of a long money shot. On that. Put a little bit of money on that. And I like this competition we have going on. This is money right now. 250 points going to the NBA. The Knicks are hosting at Temple Wolves tonight at 7.30 p.m. on MSG Network. Which team is a longer shot to win their division at plus 20,000? Ah. Eric. I'm going to Timberwolves. Timberwolves, 250 right. points. You are correct. Well, watch out. Now, <laughs> yeah, you're now, going hey, uh oh, it, it is getting now. So, Alex, this is the fourth time Tim's Knicks has faced his former team. Does this give the Knicks an extra edge tonight? Uh, I don't think so for two reasons. One, this isn't the same Knicks team from last year. They were much better defensively. And two, this isn't the same Timberwolves team that the Knicks saw earlier this season. They're going to have Carl Anthony Towns, uh, Anthony Edwards, and D'Angelo Russell this time. They didn't have either of those three players the first time they played. So it's hard to imagine that uh, Tibbs has any kind of edge considering this is a much different team that he's faced. Mm. Well, Eric has the edge now. He and does. we're going to question Point four. Out. So 250 <laughs> points. Katie, it's time for you to get back, get, get, get back in business. On the NFL front, which division winning team still playing in the NFL playoffs has the longest odds to win the Super Bowl at plus 1,500? The Bengals. Cincinnati Bengals, yeah. you are correct at 250 points. Thought you were winning. And now, th <laughs> this is the one. This is the one that can decide it all. Oh, okay. Are you ready? Yes. I'm ready. All right, 250 points and the game. In the NBA, the Warriors take on the Pistons at home tonight. This is Klay Thompson's fifth game back from his long road, two, two injuries, and he's back. And he's yet to have a big game. What is the over-under for May three-pointers for Klay tonight? Oh. Two and a half. Two and a half! Ah. It is correct! Eric Coleman gets it right, and Eric Coleman wins yeah. the big bet. <laughs> 
theory, giving us <laughs> the New York Shore shot later on in the All show. Right. Eric, how you feel? You're back. I feel great. I feel great. It's been a long time coming. A, yeah. a lot of hard work it took to get back to this point, <laughs> uh, but I'm glad to be here. All right. Well, I'll let you warm up the seat for me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love, I love to see a great competition. It's time. Who is going to break the tie? You will have to keep locking in to find out. And when we come back, getting in our bag with the portfolio, it's the betting exchange. Don't touch that dial. We'll be right back.